now we are starting chemical bonding and chemical bonding is very important chapter it is very important chapter and with it only our chemistry we were helpful in understanding it we were helpful in understanding the chemistry we were helpful to understand the behavior the shape so what is bond bond is a very small thing if you want you can explain the bond like this it is a attraction force between two atoms which holds them to one species it is a attraction force it is some attraction force that holds two atoms two or more atoms to form a chemical species this attraction force is a chemical bond obviously and the reason behind all the bonds is attraction but it is not the full story it is just a start of the story now what we have to study in this chapter we have to study kaushal lewis theory on which lewis structures are based which is called as kaushal lewis approach after that valence shell electron pair repulsion theory which is also called as vscpr after this developed our valence bond the valence bond theory and at the last molecular orbital theory in the short it is called mot but let me tell you that kaushal lewis theory is not there in the je syllabus but for the startup it is good to understand it and it is there in the syllabus of ai triple e and ai pmt so it is very helpful to understand the lewis structure from there and the approach of kaushal lewis it was independent and was based on noble gas configuration the noble gases as you can see neon we know the structure of neon 1s2 2s2 2p6 it is here we have 10 electrons and if you see in the outermost orbital then 8 electrons are there n is equals to 2 principal quantum number 2 that means in the outermost orbital 8 electrons will be there so neon is stable because it is having octet complete in the same way neon argon krypton xenon all these are stable gases stable electronic configuration they maintain they are noble gases so the approach of kaushal lewis according to them all the molecules basically all the atoms in the molecule formation they share the electrons in such way they transfer the electrons in such way so that like the neon or such type of gases they complete their octet this was called as octet octet means stable outer eight electrons these electrons are called as octet because the last shell the outermost orbital in it eight electrons are there and it is like stable structure in the noble gases so for such a stable configuration every atom thrives this was one of the postulate of kaushal lewis and it can even be understood very easily but the lewis symbols try to understand them and on the basis of that only we will be understanding this according to the lewis structure they represented the electrons of the outermost shell only with a dot like lithium but if you leave lithium beryllium and boron for some time because in their outermost orbitals less than 4 electrons are there so the story starts with carbon which is having 4 electrons in the outermost orbital and after that nitrogen which is having 5 electrons in the outermost orbital so the sharing of electron will take place or the transfer will take place and they try to complete the octet so let us see how it was explained all this so how the structure of nacl was explained by lewis see this lewis told about nacl that the outermost electron of na that is one it loses and is adopted by the chlorine so in this way now for na only 10 electrons will be there and its structure will be like neon the structure of neon eight electrons in the outermost orbital because the outermost orbital it was 3s1 in the case of sodium and now if you see the structure of sodium then it will be 1s2 2s2 2p6 
these eight electrons will be there in the outermost orbital now the 3s1 electron went to chlorine and if you see with the chlorine and now chlorine has also got the complete octet and the structure of chlorine will be 3s2 3p6 although before also 1s2 2s2 2p6 will be there so that 1s2 2s2 2p2 in short is called as neon in this way so this structure this whole structure is like noble gas it is like argon argon is the noble gas just nearby chlorine in the periodic table and here only the cautious approach he told that he told that the octet will be completed in this way and the positive negative ions will remain near each other due to the electrostatic force of attraction and such kind of bond nowadays is called ionic bond so kaushal explained some other atoms also like you see cf2 where we are having calcium double positive ion and 2f negative ions will be there with it so now the structure of calcium will be like argon and the structure of fluorine like neon now according to kaushal the calcium positive ion and the f negative ion will remain together will be bounded by the electrostatic force of attraction obviously what we need in a bond we need attraction so between the negative and the positive charges attraction is there so such type of bond is called as electrovalent bond but the concept of kaushal was very simple you cannot form electrostatic bond everywhere so lewis told that cl cl bond is formed so in the cl cl bond both both are having the same electronegativity their electronegativity is same while here in the electronegativity difference was there this thing was very clear there was a difference in the electronegativity and here there is no difference in the electronegativity therefore according to lewis he told that electron sharing will be there in this case in fact the lewis structure it was langlieu in fact that is child langlieu he described it in much detail he told that it will be a covalent bond it was called as the covalent bond by him he gave it the name covalent bond so lewis told that the sharing of electron is taking place here he told that one chlorine atom which we represent by the lewis dot structure this is lewis dot structure in the lewis dot structure see these are seven electrons of chlorine now this chlorine also have seven electrons and here one electron also now these two electrons are shared by both this chlorine atoms that means so here what is happening exactly see these two electrons by combining are forming a covalent bond sharing has very importance here in the sharing two electrons here for this chlorine two electrons here two electrons here so this chlorine is having six electrons and these two are shared so both of them shared one one electron so obviously if you see the lewis dot structure then here sharing means that it means that at least both of them are giving one one electrons even there is such bond in which both the electrons are provided by one atom only but at the time of lewis that concept was not there so he treated all the bonds as covalent bond here so see both of them are sharing at least one one electrons in the same way if you see for the water molecule then for the oxygen six electrons it has six electrons in this way and with one one electrons of hydrogen sharing will be there so see here this is a pair this is a pair for the hydrogen obviously it will be a doublet and not octet so duplet is created even the hydrogen got one electron an electron pair basically so even its first orbital is completed so it also attained a structure like helium so such type of structure was very helpful in the chemistry the lewis octet rule is very very important in chemistry and it was very helpful to understand many atoms and molecules now if we see co2 carbon dioxide then here for the oxygen it is having six electrons two electrons are here these all are the electrons of the oxygen and if we see for carbon then carbon is having four electrons these four electrons of the carbon so here the sharing of two two electrons is there i told at least one electron and now here the sharing of two two electrons are also possible 
so see these four are for the oxygen also and these four are for the carbon also and 